Hey guys, MA Fish Guy here, doing a video on how to do a water change in a nano tank uh, for salt water. Now, I do things a little bit different uh, than what people normally would do. Uh, this tank, after doing a little experimentation with lack of water changes, uh, inadequate lighting, and stuff like that, um, the tank has kind of gotten a little unruly. Uh, I have a lot of red bubble algae, uh, just a lot of green algae all over. Uh, I love the purple coralline algae, but my anemone just split, I have a lot of corals that have split and grown onto the rocks, I have a lot of zoas that have split, uh, grown off onto different places, my leather coral needs to be cut again or fragged, um, my Kenya tree is doing phenomenal, I'm probably going to be fragging that soon as well. Uh, I will be selling these frags though, uh, probably in the 5 to $10 range, uh, so hopefully I'll be posting those on Craigslist soon. But there's a couple important things you want to remember when you're getting everything ready. Now what I do for the nano tank, since it has been a little while, I will be taking everything out. Live rock, corals, fish, uh, snails, everything like that. Kind of doing an inventory to make sure everything is still going correctly as it should be. And from what I can see with the snail growth, it definitely is. Um, but when you're preparing everything, you want to make sure you have everything ready first. Now, when I do everything, I get two bowls ready. Uh, this one right here will be used for the fish and the snails and hermit crabs uh, and any other crustaceans or invertebrates in the tank. This one will be used for the corals, um, any of the leather coral frags, the Kenya trees, anything like that, and then the live rock they put on this towel with a wet paper towel over it. Now, in storing the live rock with the wet paper towel on, that's how you're going to get it at any pet store or if you order it live or anything like that. Usually it's shipped with just paper towels wrapped around it. Uh, that way nothing's dying off, polluting the water that it's in, and so on and so forth. So it's safe to do as long as you're not leaving it or letting it dry out completely. You'll be fine. Everything else that's inside the rock will go farther into it where the moisture is and still be fine. So back to the water. With the water, it's real easy to do. Uh, this time right now, I'm using the uh, Tetra Marine Salt. Uh, it's new to me. I haven't used it before, so I kind of want to see what it's all about. Uh, this does 13 gallons right here. Um, it's, it's only 862 at Walmart. So what, with this and most of the other ones, you're only going to use half a cup per gallon. Now, I don't recommend using that right away. What you want to do is with this 5-gallon bucket right here, um, I actually only put three and a half scoops in and the salinity was perfect at uh, 1.024, which is what I keep my nano at. So it definitely goes to show that you that if you don't want to add too much, uh, it's better to add two less and then add to it. Uh, it's more of a pain to actually take out salt uh, by dumping out the water and trying to put fresh water in to kind of help equal it out. But what I do is I fill the bucket about three-fourths away or a little bit higher. Uh, I put all the salt in, and then that way if it's too much, I can always water it down and I still have the water in the bucket. Uh, that way it's a lot easier than dumping the bucket out and putting the water back in and stuff. Uh, but another thing you want to do is if you haven't used the uh, hydrometer in a while, uh, and I love these, uh, I really only use the Instant Ocean Hydrometers uh, by Marine Labs. Uh, I just love these. I've always used them ever since I've been in the hobby. Uh, I've been using these. So these are nice, but one important thing you want to remember is if A, you haven't used it in a while, or B, you just bought it or got it off somebody that hasn't used it in a while, you want to make sure you're rinsing it in fresh water and letting it sit for about 24 hours. Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to make sure that that's reading zero, uh, and that way there's nothing wrong with it, nothing sticking or anything like that, and it's working properly. That way you know you're getting an accurate reading in the salinity of your saltwater tank. So that's one important thing to do, just rinse this in fresh water. Um, next, like I said, I'm going to tear this tank apart uh, and get to it and kind of show you step by step what I'm doing. Uh, like I said, I will be taking everything out and siphoning the gravel, scraping everything. Uh, and one hint, gift cards work great. Uh, if you don't have anything on the gift card and the cash register person wants to throw it away, don't. Uh, these make great algae scrapers. I've used them for acrylic and glass, never had a problem. They're nice and smooth edges. You're not using it like a ra you're using it just like a razor blade, but without the chance of cutting the glass, scratching the glass, uh, or anything like that. So gift cards work awesome. Just make sure you wash them off real quick with water and you'll be fine. Another thing, just want to give a quick shout out to Hannah Pro Discus. 
Uh, this guy is hilarious. I've watched a bunch of his videos now. Uh, he has some great quality discus in his tanks. Uh, he also sells discus. Uh, so if you want some great information, he breaks down a lot of stuff that might happen to discus, like the video I just watched uh, on some of the common diseases uh, and some of the different signs that you can look for to make sure your disc discus is healthy. Uh, so check him out. I will put a link down below. Like I said, his Hannah Pro Discus. His name is William T. Funny guy, funny videos, uh, a lot of great information. Uh, so go check him out. Show him some love. Uh, and like I said, I'll be doing some more of this video part two uh, of what I'm doing when I got the tank. So thanks for watching. Subscribe, like the channel, like the video, share it to all your friends. Thanks.